Well, this is our latest uh, little rescue, and unfortunately in a very, very bad way. So we're racing straight through to the vet to get a prognosis and see what we can do. Um, he's not moving very, very well at all. He was found between the crack in a wall. We're not too sure if he was a road accident, vi accident victim or not. Uh, we have had x-rays taken, um, and we're not too sure. It looks like he's, there's a possible broken neck. Uh, which doesn't make things very hopeful for this little one. Uh, the vet has just said it's best uh, we take him home. Let's give it 24 hours and see how the little one gets on after there. And uh, so, of course, that's how the little Rexy saga began. So uh, we're on his 24 hours. People, uh, we've put, made him a special little neck brace uh, to keep his neck um, in a good position all the time so he doesn't move it around too much. And, and uh, of course, feeding him and making sure he's getting fluids inside himself, uh, trying to get him as comfortable as possible. And uh, after that, we'll take him back to the vet's um, just to see how they feel or how things are going We're from there. We're here to visit Rexy. Hi, sweetie. How is he doing? Good. I just arrived, actually. But he has been eating and drinking well today. So, yeah. He's been quite active. I want him to eat all the time, which is good. One has no clue what is actually going through these little guys' minds, but when you have a look at him, he seems so positive and wanting to have a, another chance and just carry on. He's eating very, very well uh, within himself, seems to be a, a very, very positive. Um, there just seems to be a total disconnect from the brain. So you'll see uh, throughout the videos this uh, him shaking uh, quite a lot. That's basically his brain trying to tell his limbs what to do. Um, but not really getting a reaction out of them. But uh, each day is a little bit more progress. Um, as you can see, he's able to now move uh, one is his, his hands properly. Um, his feet, um, basically, he's got feeling in them and things like this. He's still not able to uh, bear his weight or move around with his, uh, with his legs. But uh, his arms seem to be coming on um, slowly um, each day. Um, we went back to the vets just to see how things were going. The vets said, look, it's looking very, very positive because he started to move. And uh, they do feel that this little guy has got a chance. So uh, we should just carry on doing what we're doing. And let's see how things uh, go from there. So each day is a little challenge uh, for Re uh, Rexy. Uh, we have to make sure that he tries to do things on his own. In this case, trying to get towards his food bowl um, and get some food. So this is very, very important because uh, it's the only way we can get him to start moving his, uh, his limbs and getting used to moving his limbs. Um, and he progresses quite well with doing it. It is a little bit of a struggle. You can see uh, the brain is trying to get the arms and everything to do what he wants to. He knows what he wants to do, but he just can't get it right. Yeah? Yeah? There you go. Good boy. Naturally, we have to come up with innovative ideas uh, to try and help little um, Rexy use his limbs. And one of them is just tying this little noose or blanket around him and help him to try and sit up straight. Of course, there's nothing wrong with his reaction with his mouth. Believe you me, it is quite fast, uh, which we're also worried about his neck because uh, he tries to swing around and bite you as quickly as he can. But as you can see, his strength in the little arms there. Um, he is managing to do little steps at a time. And of course, we can use a little blanket to give him a little bit of support. Luckily, Rexy seems to be uh, fond of his food, so there's no problem with him eating. 
So this of course does help us because he's always got something to move towards and some nice reward in the end once he gets there. Rexy is just outside um, his cabin at the moment learning how to be on all fours and enjoying grass for the first time in at least five weeks. Grass. He's only just had his collar taken off, but he's doing really well with his wobbling. Well, it seems like his uh, neck has healed okay, well enough for us to have removed the collar. But of course now there's a lot of physiotherapy, uh, a lot of work has to be done uh, for his movement and things like this. Uh, making sure he's actually using his legs, trying to build up those muscles again. This is all going to take time and dedication from our fantastic volunteers. You are not helping me. You need to walk, not to move like a worm. <laughs> Come on. No, don't bite me. Pop up. Yep. He's like a little Tyrannosaurus Rex. The little mouth of his doesn't stop, but it, believe you me, if it gets hold of your fingers, it's not the funniest thing under the sun. He's got still very, very sharp teeth. And of course he doesn't uh, want to do the exercises or doesn't like people making him do the exercises. But of course this is very, very important. We have to get his brain used to using the different limbs. Even just moving like that gives him different feelings, which is basically going to help him in, uh, in the long run. So it's, he's got a long, long way to go. But as I say, it's uh, a lot of dedication from the people looking after him. Not the best time of year for it with all the babies coming in. But who are we to make decisions over who we've got to treat and not treat? And of course, he's come in that time. And uh, so we have to give him um, those hours just to make sure he's got the best chance possible to come right. Getting sun and being outside is also very, very important. So it just does you know, all the sounds of the birds and everything like that going around. There's nice little grasses which he likes picking and eating, as you can see. And uh, his progress is slowly getting better. He's kind of supporting himself now. And uh, his arms are quite strong, so he can pull himself around very, very well on his arms. Um, his legs are a little, seem to be a little bit slow in progress. But uh, hopefully things will slowly get better there. You can see he can move them and everything like this. It's just basically to get the coordination and start building up in the muscles. And hopefully we'll see a bit of improvement there. Well, you can see Rexy really does love uh, the special moments when he's getting massaged. Uh, this is also very important to uh, keep the muscles relaxed and moving the whole time. So every day he gets spoiled like this and uh, just moving through his muscles along the spine, just trying to release any tension or anything there that he's got um, to try and make things a little bit easier. But you can see how relaxed he is. He seems to know the people out there are trying to do their best to help him and it's for his own benefit and uh, he just lies there and lets it get done. Rexy loves to 
cling onto his blanket. This is really good for his muscles, um, pulling on them biceps. He's really, really, really good at pulling with his arms. He's not so great at pushing, but that's okay. We're getting there, but look at that. Hey, buddy. He's also been walking quite a bit as well. Uh, well, walking. <laughs> Army crawling, as we call it. Um, we've kind of just been letting him do it whenever he wants um, because it's really good that he gets used to walking. He's starting to get the idea of how it's supposed to work. So he's putting his arms in front and then obviously pushing with them legs. Um, but of course we want him to be on all fours. Um, but yeah, he's getting there slowly. It's taking time, but um, time isn't a bad thing. Yeah, we'll see how he goes. Well, we're in the back of Disneyland, uh, going to meet some other uh, little monkeys and things like this. You can see Rexy's shaking has slowly subsided. It hasn't stopped completely, uh, but it's not as vigorous as what it used to be. Um, his coordination is slowly coming back uh, to a degree. We don't think he'll ever get back 100%, uh, but uh, the important part is that he starts getting mobility and uh, that he can move around on his own and basically actually get uh, forage where he, where he needs to. And slowly this seems to be happening. Uh, we're still not very happy with, uh, with the way things are going. Um, it's always trial and error, especially with this kind of patient. One never really knows uh, how things are going to turn out into the end. But uh, we've sort of felt that once we've committed ourselves to it, we've got to put every effort in and see what chance we can give him. And uh, he's surprising us every single day. Um, it's really amazing how it's developed. It's not that many weeks at the moment uh, from a point of view that he couldn't move at all uh, to now that he's actually getting himself around. He's finding little insects, uh, finding little things to eat and things like that, chewing on grasses. Um, he knows where he's going, uh, <laughs> even if it's in his own little way. But uh, it is progress, and that's the important part. Rex is enjoying his time next to Remy's crate and Remy seems very happy to have a friend. What is? You don't want to play? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thought you were going to play. Well, I guess we're not. <sighs> Rexy, you know we've got food. <laughs> Rexy, brup, brup. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> Rexy, <laughs> Rexy, brup, brup. Oh, you, oh, you, oh, my, oh, my air. Mm. <laughs> Good meal, my air. <laughs> Bye, 
that is empty. <laughs> Here is Charlotte in the back of Disneyland with Rexy. She's a volunteer that arrived from France two days ago and she's an animal osteopath. So she, see, she is checking on Rexy to see if we can help him further. He is calm at the moment. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I can see what I can see. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, a bit more time. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Whoa! <laughs> so we were fortunate to have an uh, osteopath uh, come and volunteer at the foundation. And uh, of course she's working with little uh, Rexy as well. Uh, not that it seems like he's being very cooperative. But at least he can do a few bits of manipulation here and there um, to improve his his movement. So she already noticed that uh, his muscles are atrophied, so he needs to um, to gain some muscle. to eat his first bug. Darby's scooped in. Nope, still there. <laughs> Rexy's not too sure about it because it's moving. Oh, nope. Still there. It's not too sure either. Is it gone? Oh, I think we've just eaten our first bug. Well done. Good boy. As you can see, Rexy and Darby play very nicely together. Darby is out of crate rest, but he's not allowed to um, hang on his arm. So he can climb as long as he's walking. Um, and he can obviously walk along the floor and wait there, but we just don't want him to hang on that arm. But it is very lovely watching them play together. And then I have just got Remy here, who is having a nap. 
and you can see his arm there it's obviously the one that he got his surgery on so he's got a pin at the top and then a wire where you can see the long the long scab this is Rexy. Rexy um, is enjoying to do some climbing and some walking at the moment. He has some really great progress. In the last couple of weeks, we've had Charlotte, a volunteer here, who is an osteopath working on him. And we've seen a really great improvement. Currently just watching Rowan at the moment. Um, but he's doing really, really great. We're very happy that he is climbing um, and even walking by himself he can do about six steps um, of walking before he ends up going back onto his belly again but that is really great and then we can see Rowan just here so these guys are currently together because they have the cough um, and the sneezes so we're just keeping them separated from our other babies um, so we have babies in Goliath and Global and then our babies here in Disneyland as well. As you can see, Vexy is still shaking a little bit, but overall, it's doing so much better. Can we see some walking? Nope. So it's actually quite amazing. Little Rexy is starting to actually climb up into the trees and along the branches, which uh, we're very happy about because he has to use a lot of muscles um, to do that type of thing. You can see although he's still shaking a little bit how much if you compare it to the beginning of the video how much he was shaking and vibrating to how that's calmed down quite a lot now at the moment. Um, it's almost not really that noticeable although when it does try to do things and, and move around you will see the shaking start. So the improvement um, is phenomenal. He's, he's really coming on in leaps and bounds and we're just hoping he gets to a point uh, where he is able to maybe go and join Floki and Cuddy and become part of their their little um, their little group. So so far it's looking very promising. He's matured a lot uh, quicker and a lot better than what we thought he would, and uh, that means he has he's still got a good chance. Feeding time. <laughs> the Darby on the right, Rexy, and Wanda. Everybody moves out of the way for Rexy. Rexy's the boss. They, it's good because they learn to respect their elders before they meet foster mums. Thank you for joining us on uh, Rexy's journey. It's certainly not an easy one. Um, and it's also not something that we're able to predict how things are going to go. Uh, we just have to give our best and put everything we have in there and sometimes as I say we see little miracles happening all the time and uh, hopefully in this type of time of year uh, the miracles will continue and but little Rexy will get to a point that he can at Rexy. least join uh, a he challenge troop and actually live out his, the rest Daddy of his life um, in his own little way and comfortably so at least he will be protected and it is something we can offer him if he just improves a little bit more thank you all for watching and look forward to seeing you in our next episode <laughs>